hello friends so now it's a practical time and uh, we will see that how we can analyze the header so I have some mails which I have collected from myself so let's go on the Google Chrome I have collected some four mails near about uh, we'll see one by one each and every mail so this is one of the mail which I received and in which they are saying register immediately to grab the best opp opportunity spend five seconds for registration well why should why uh, should i do this right so here they what they are giving they are luring me right so they are giving an offer something three lakh fifty thousand uh, pay scale right so i'm not going to register on them but i'm going to show you that how you can check the header whether if if it is you are using gmail or uh, you are uh, you have outlook then uh, both both having the different procedure to check the up uh, uh, check the you can say header so in this just uh, just click on here and uh, just click on show originals so from here just this is the full header you can check here you copy that one open mx toolbox mx toolbox okay and meanwhile you can also use mha.azure website yeah that's it i think uh, okay let's header dot uh, org something what was the name i just forgot okay no problem we'll see with these two right and if we need we will see from here not a problem so the last one was mail header dot org okay let's let's open also there mail header dot org okay great so we have copied the this uh, header and we are going to paste it just open here so it's a free tool uh, see here we can see the tabs super tool mx loop lookup or blacklist diagnostics email health dns lookup and here it is analyze header just click on that and here you need to paste the header after pasting the header just click here analyze header so it will start analyzing see here nothing is uh, you can say uh, the delivery information or you can say the these are uh, dmark uh, everything is blacklisted here right so see here email marketing 185.38250.21 it is also blacklisted uh, in which SMTP, SMTP it came, ES SMTP, MX Google.com. So you can ch check this, these things. DMARC record publication, no DMARC they have found. So DMARC, I hope you have remembered why we are using. Correct. So we we didn't get anything from here. So let's let's check each of them so the first first thing or to analyze the header uh, is that just to check these spf whether they are passing or not so these all fails right but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that that mail is uh, uh, you can say uh, 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 phishing or not it doesn't mean that i am failing these things it doesn't mean it it is it is showing that, that something is uh, suspicious so you need to check it further so let's see here it is 185.38.250.221 so let me check it uh, in the in the same blacklisted so we are just uh, talking about email header and analysis so blacklist go there and check it and you can see it's a blacklisted as we were talking about so you can check from abuse ipdp uh, from which location or from where it is it belongs to okay so they didn't found their in their database and we didn't found much things about that so the host name is email marketing online dot eu so let's let's check the domain let's check the domain so it's clean correct 
but it's looking like a marketing mail right so i'm not going to register on that after that you can if you will just uh, drop down your uh, scroll down then you can find many things that which uh, to which person it is delivered then from a, from where it has been received right and then the main thing is that you sh you have to check the return path whether return and uh, sender is same or not so you can see you can see here i got a mail from somya uh, whose email was emailed updates.in the domain was different and the return path is different right so this email is looked like spoofed because the return path is not same also apart from this we can check uh, uh, more things okay so we can check more things register yeah th this is the subject line you can check this is the message id and more things yeah we don't have anything else here in there so this is one of the analysis uh, but still uh, you might be confused with these things right so let me show you with with more things let me analyze let's take another example so this is one of the marketing mail i also got uh, which is asking for the click here to register so i will go just go here and just click on show original and just go here yeah just copy this whole my god it's a too long everything it it have so just go there analyze headers and check what it is exactly so it is uh, uh, analyzing meanwhile let me let me paste here also so it will uh, tell us the clear idea okay see uh, this is one of the best way to check so the subject is that message id is that let me just take it okay it's not going above not a problem so from where it has come from it has come from brighttalk.com and this is my mail id uh, you are most welcome to ping me if there is any urgency regarding uh, this course or or the upcoming courses okay so the next one how this email was uh, received the received headers so this this is the receiving host the time that what was the delay in that uh, situ in that uh, process and then what was the host here after uh, you can say smtp this this is the value of smtp you can say this is the ip so if you will check this it will show you uh, I guess 167 definitely it's SMTP right so it's a send grid right so it is one of the ISP and uh, SMTP to uh, pass down these messages okay so now uh, uh, if you will, will just scroll down you can see the whole header from uh, from to where it has been delivered uh, apart from this uh, the received x received smtp source what was the source of smtp this was the source return path what was that so the here see the return path is same correct guys so this is not a spoofed one also we don't have a remote ip i guess let me check the remote ip if there is something report ip then it means the ip is spoofed but not so the IP is not spoofed as well. So this was this is the second example in which we have seen that it's it uh, it has it is validated and it's a valid email, but it's a marketing mail. Correct. Okay. Let me take one of the example more show original okay okay so you have enough experience then you can also read read the things from here you can just uh, like if i talk about myself then i i just check two or three things let's say remote ip what is a so i didn't get the remote ip uh, then i will check the further uh, information like uh, the return path yes right right 
so the what is the return path mail dot pvng payback dot in so i got i got this mail from payback dot in correct so and what was the original one okay let me search from here from okay so i we we got the from and return path are same correct so it is not a spoof mail but uh, if you want to check more then you can check it so i i always check two or three things of so these things will come with the experience so more and more uh, you will analyze you will get to know that whether the email has been spoofed or ip has been spoofed correct so as i said that it's not spoofed you can see here right i hope guys uh, that you have understand these things that how you can analyze the headers uh, how you can check these things uh, dkim spf and uh, dmark and how you can check the smtp whether it's blacklisted or not so you can see here it's a blacklisted but apart from this if it is blacklisted then check from where it belongs whether it's a smtp or something else right so it's a digital ocean llc so these things you need to care about these uh, care about so i hope uh, guys uh, uh, you understood these things and if not we will uh, we will uh, discuss more things more in the more details in the upcoming practical which you can see uh, below so there is, there is two practicals more in which uh, we will see the see the full analysis till then bye bye take care we'll meet in the next video